are on storm watch. More cancellations and delays at LAX and other airports tonight, mostly due to a Southwest Airlines meltdown. And a jumbo jackpot on the line. Could you start the new year off $565 million richer? We have tonight's winning Mega Millions numbers. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Susie Sa. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Our top story, let's head outside right now and take a live look at downtown. There it is. Plenty of clouds among the skyscrapers tonight. Yeah, badly needed wet weather hit the Southland hard all day long. It's tapering off just a bit right now, but is the worst yet to come? KCAL meteorologist Marquina Brown is watching the radar and has our next weather forecast. Marquina. Hey there, good evening, guys. Yeah, obviously, with all this rain, we've got a way after midnight tonight. We'll get a drying out period before storm number two comes in. But as we look at what's happening right now, you can see the yellows. That is pods of moderate rain making its way through the area. So we'll watch out for that. But luckily, we haven't seen much of that. And I am not expecting flooding concerns, at least with this system. We are just dealing with light rain that, for the most part, can, seems to be on the steady side. So here's what you need to know. Again, rain continuing through about midnight tonight, headed toward Wednesday through Friday. An isolated shower is possible. We're going to be really unsettled as we'll have disturbances kind of riding in and around the area. Then as we talk about Saturday, that will be the mother load. Stick around. I'll let you know what you should expect on Saturday. Compare what we're seeing today to what Saturday will bring, and I'll let you know what you should expect really for the rest of the week. Everything you need to know coming up in just a little bit. Until then, we'll send it back to you. All right, Martina, thank you. Sure. Now, rain often raises concerns in places like Silverado Canyon. The area has seen severe flooding and mudslides in the past. Kick on Orange County reporter Michelle Shealy spoke with residents this morning, watching conditions closely there tonight. Crews with shovels and heavy equipment worked in Silverado Canyon as the rain moved toward Orange County. Trees were cleared and culverts cleaned in anticipation of not one, but two storms expected before the new year. Keeping the storm channel clear is a top priority for Orange County Public Works crews. That is because this gets filled, really gets going. Flogged, drained side of this channel to flow across the road and onto nearby properties. I just know that it's coming tonight, so I want to sleep well. Colleen Maxwell lives across the street. She's put up a storm barrier across her driveway to prevent damage. Heavy rain hitting the hillsides that burned in the bonfire two years ago can cause debris flows. It's impacted several homes in the area since the fire. It comes from right up there off of Olive and it comes and then makes a, right, a little turn right here. <laughs> That's all it does. There's still mud on the garage door immediately adjacent to the storm channel, showing how high the mud piled up during a big weather event. Dale Avis has been in Silverado Canyon for 33 years. He's been lucky so far. We've been very fortunate. Uh, unfortunately, about a quarter mile down the road on this side, on the south side, it's a lot different. There's a lot of damage. People are still. Before the plane 